Hey, Jimmy from Cuff and Stuff Barbecue. Well, today I th hope we've got another good one for you. What we're doing today is we're doing a spiral cut ham. Um, we're gonna smoke it on the smoker just for a little bit. It's already cooked. Um, we went to the grocery store, bought a pre-cooked spiral cut ham. Uh, we're gonna smoke it on the smoker. We're gonna glaze it. And it's really quick, really easy. And boy, does it turn out good. So hang tight. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what we're starting out with. This is about an 11 pound spiral cut hand. And as you can see, it's already spiral cut. It's it comes pre-cooked. You actually, I think, could eat it like this, just warm it up. But we're gonna jazz this up some. We're gonna do just a little bit more to this. All right, well, here's one thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add just a little bit of Uncle Steve's shake. Now this is gator shake. Um, I have been trying the different Uncle Steve shakes here recently. Uncle Steve was kind enough to send us some to try. And so this is the Christmas ham that we're doing. Uh, so we're gonna put it on and like I said, we're gonna put just a little bit, and you can see it's gonna cover the outside here. And we're gonna put just a little bit of Uncle Steve's for flavor. All right, the next step, we're gonna go and put it on the smoker, and we'll bring you back. Okay. We're going to try to keep our smoker today, even though we're fighting a pretty good breeze. We're going to try to keep it between 250 and 275 degrees. Uh, again, um, this ham is already cooked. All we're doing is basically putting some smoke on it um, and bringing it up to temperature. So let's put it in, get him started and we'll bring you back okay we've been on an hour let's take a peek and see what we got oh yeah we're getting some good color i like the way that looks getting good color around here let's close it back up I'm gonna let him smoke for a little longer before we glaze him. But we'll take you in and we'll show you the glaze we're gonna make. Okay. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna make this glaze. Now, if, if, if you wanna use the uh, glaze that comes with some of that, that's fine. Um, you can substitute any of these ingredients that you want. I've been doing keto for a little bit so I'm gonna make this sugar-free um, so we're gonna start with um, a stick of butter everything's better with butter okay we got our butter melted and to that we're gonna add one cup of sugar-free syrup. Now, again, I'm using sugar-free. This is sort of the keto version. Um, it's low carb, low sugar. So, put that in and mix it real good. Mm. I'm gonna say it again. <laughs> it sure smells good. Okay. And next, I'm going to be using a brown sugar 
substitute. This is monk fruit sweetener. Uh, it's just, as I said, just a substitute. I'm gonna use a cup of it. And I'm gonna put it in. Now I've got heat turned back down on uh, sort of a medium heat. And I'm gonna get this really mixed up good. And I'm gonna turn the heat just a little bit up because I wanna get not a real hot rolling bowl, but I wanna get really warmed up good. Let me, let me get that rolling and I'll bring you back. Okay. As you see, I've got this rolling, and we're going to put the last little ingredient in, and that's, let me show you, that's pumpkin spice, pumpkin pie spice, and this you can just pick up at any grocery store anywhere. I'm going to put just about a third of a teaspoon, not too much, this is... Pumpkin spice can be a little strong sometimes. And we're gonna stir it in. I'm gonna turn this down on low. And I'm gonna stir it, make sure it's really incorporated into this glaze. And that's it, that's all that's in this glaze. And I tell you what, I promise you, feed this to your family They'll never know that it's sugar-free. This is a, a good little glaze. And we're going to get it mixed real good. And then we're going to carry it out to the ham and glaze the ham with it. So we'll bring you back. Okay. We are about... Two hours and 10 minutes or so into this cook. Um, and look at the color we've got on it. I don't know whether you can see it. Um, unfortunately, we've got a rain front moving in and it got real cloudy real quick and it's late in the afternoon. So, of course, I lost my light. But all we're gonna do is we're just going to take this glaze and we're gonna cover this pan. You can see I've got it in a pan. So again, all I'm doing is just taking this. I got my big spoon. And I'm just covering the entire ham real well with this glaze we made. And I'm gonna save just a little bit to put over the top. I'm gonna leave this over here on the warm side. We're gonna let this go about 20, 25 minutes or so, and then we're gonna be ready to take it off. Okay, well, we've taken it off, brought it inside. We've let it sit, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes or so to cool off. We're gonna take and just cut down the seams Let's see. Cut it off the bone here. There we go. Cut us a piece off here. Let's 
and that was a big old piece off the top but here we go slide that over well, you can see how this turned out oh my goodness and I want a piece right out of the middle and I'm gonna try this one smoke flavor it's not overbearing it's not that strong um, I use pecan wood with this. Oh, it works well. Excuse me, I'm gonna take another bite. Mm. Folks, I'm gonna tell you what. You serve this to your family, they'll never know it's sugar-free. Oh, that's good. Now, if you don't wanna use the sugar-free syrup or the monk fruit that I use, the brown sugar substitute, go ahead and use. Um, just regular syrup, maple syrup, and and brown sugar with the pumpkin spice. The pumpkin spice is not overbearing. Um, it's just lightly in there. So that's a good Christmas ham. You can serve to your family. Everybody can eat it. So from Cuff and Stuff, we wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and we'll see you next time. Until then, hang tight.